Hello, today we're going to learn how to adjust the valves on a small block Chevrolet engine. This one right here. First thing you need to do is uh, say hello to your cat. And set the engine on top dead center number one. Now since my rocker arms are loose, because I just put this thing together, uh, I like to hold the rocker arms down and the, uh, the push rods down while I turn the engine clockwise from the front, which is the engine, the way the engine turns when it's running. See now the exhaust valve is opening, and if you're familiar with the phases of the engine, you know, the exhaust valve comes up as the piston goes up and the piston comes back down as the intake valve is opening and then the piston starts its way back up on the compression stroke on around to top dead center and then once it's all the way up once the intake valve has opened and then closed you'll have to then line up your timing marks there's my timing mark I'll put it right there on the zero indicator and I passed it Let's see. Right there. Okay. Now once you know what's on top dead center number one, you can begin adjusting your valves. Now the way I adjust them, I have this handy chart here. We get it on top dead center number one. We adjust the intake valves on one, two, five, and seven. Exhaust, exhaust valves on one, three, four, and eight. Once we've done those eight, we rotate the engine one revolution. That puts the engine at top dead center number six. And then we can adjust intake valves three, four, six, and eight. And exhaust valves two, five, six, and seven. Now the way we adjust them, take out all the lash out of the valves. And the way I do that is, now if you're building your engine, put your intake on after. It makes it a lot easier. But I have decided to change my locks, my lock nuts, to a different style, so I have to do it the hard way. So what you want to do is take out all the slack. An easy way to do it is rotate the push rod. And once once all the lash is out, it'll get just a little tighter. But it'll still turn. But it's just a little tighter. And you can feel the difference. Just loosen it a bit, and it's real loose. Give it a little turn, and it's tight. Once you get there, go a half a turn. Uh, at least a half a turn. Half a turn seems to be the most common thing to do. You can go half, three quarter. I've done one turn. I've heard as much as a turn and a quarter, but I've never done it myself, so I can't say how it works. But a half turn worked just fine. And do the same on the intake valve.
and so see how loose the rocker arm gets and as you tighten it you can feel how tight you know, they get tighter and tighter and grab the push rod and turn it there it is now it's tight it's loose there tight right there and do your half a turn and then screw in your lock And then once you tighten all those, just all those, once you do it, turn one revolution, then pretty much all the ones that haven't been adjusted is the one you should adjust. And that's it.